Welcome to Harbiz News. This is Kangshar Gangapuram and you're watching National Business News. Bank of Baroda, one of the India's leading public sector bank, announced the second edition of the Sun Run that will be held on January 29, 2023, guaranteed to give the Mumbaikers the runners high. The run will start from the Geo World Garden, Bandra Kuladra Complex in Mumbai and features two races categories, a 10 km time BOB Pro Run and a 5 km non-time BOB Fun Run. In addition, the bank has planned several engaging activities including a Zumba session and a live DJ. Miss PV Sindhu, India's badminton superstar and Bank of Baroda's brand and Rosa will flag off the event. Bank of Baroda's Sunrun 2.0 is expected to attract over 4,000 participants and the aim is to bring together like-minded individuals running together as they pursue a healthier lifestyle. <music> The Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology, RGCB, opened a science museum near Kalapeta in the upstate Wainat district, carrying forward the union government's objective to promote a scientific approach among the students as well as local communities. RGCB Director Dr. Chandra Bas Narayan handed over the state-of-the-art faculty to the principal of the government higher secondary school, Mepadi Wainat, Trimonti Joseph. It is among the 75th such museum the center has planned as part of the national-wide Azadika Amrit Mahotsav, which will also promote public awareness about science intervention through bioresources. The legendary 100 years old fashion brand P. N. Rao celebrating its centenary year with two branches in Chennai and five branches in Bangalore. The brand enjoys the rich legacy and being known for dressing up the city and for an eye for best book tailoring and fine clothing. As a big tribute to this milestone, the brand is eyeing its re entry into the women's business wear segment. Machendra Pichai, Chandra Mohan Pichai, Naveen Pichai and Ketan Pichai, the partners of P. N. Rao brand said, P. N. Rao has contributed immensely to the Indian retail industry and built a unique reputation of its own as an iconic made in Indian brand. While we are committed to offering the finest apparel to our customers and understand our client physique and we are constantly evaluating ways and mean to raise the bar and expand our customers base, they added. <music> Union Bank of India entered a partnership with Tata Hitachi Construction Machinery Company Private Limited for extending equipment finance to the customers of Tata Hitachi. Under the partnership, Union Bank of India and Tata Hitachi has mutually agreed to pool their resources together and be associated with each other for the mutual benefits. The wider reach of the bank will help both Union Bank of India and Tata Hitachi to extend the best offerings to the buyers of Tata Hitachi across the country and to increase the bank's portfolio under equipment finance. The MOU was signed in Bengaluru. A year after hosting and awarding teams and individuals who are enabled to evacuate customer services and satisfaction, Skoda Auto India continues with its tradition of the Skoda Service Challenge. Like 2022, Pune played host yet again in 2023 to a glittering ceremony that acknowledged, rewarded and encouraged Skoda personals and its partners to place the customers first. Peter Solik, brand director, Skoda Auto India said, our customers are at the centre of everything we do. This is the sole reason we are hosting the Skoda Service Challenge to acknowledge, value and reward men and women who represent our brand to our customers. It is their work and efficiency that keeping our customers satisfied. They are the one of the key enablers in our goal to accelerate growth in 2023 and in ensuring that customer-centric and the Skoda brand are synonymous. Thank you for watching. Signing off. Keep watching Harvest News.